What will happen when we let AI build a game in Power Apps? Can ChatGPT actually make a fun game? Or will it be a total disaster? Let's find out. For this example, we are going to use a Canvas app. And we are first going to ask ChatGPT to give us 10 options of games that we can build within a Canvas application. So we asked ChatGPT for the 10 options. And these are the ones. And when I look at the options, I think that Wack a Mole is the most fun one to build. By the way, I realize that I have a large mole on my face. Where? <laughs> what? Where's that mole? <laughs> I didn't see one. I think some of them are a little bit too easy or not really considered to be a game. What? So I think that's the one. But if you really want to see another option as well, feel free to let it know in the comments and then we can make that game as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this whole section and ask ChatGPT to give us the steps to build this game. So here we have our manual to start creating the game. And one step that's not inside of this manual is to create the application itself. So that's the first thing. For this, we're going to head over to make.powerapps.com and we're going to create a blank canvas application. And we're going to call it the Wack a Mole game. And we are going to choose for a tablet format because this way we have some more space to work with. So now that we've set up our blank canvas application, it's time to take a look at the first step of our manual. So first thing first, we need some moles inside of our application. This will create a mole table. So this will help us to make sure that the moles are inside of our game. And also it declares some variables like the score and the time that's left because what is a game without competition? So let's do these steps and we're going to copy this and we're going to add this to our application. So it wants us to click on the app and we have to declare this at the OnStar property. And we're just going to paste the code. And then it also wants us to restart and that you can do this by run on start. So that's about it for step one. And let's head over to, uh, to the next step. So step two is all about giving those moles a place to pop up. And we're going to do this by creating a vertical gallery. And as you can see, it's using the items from the mole table that we initialized in step one. So let's head back over to our application and recreate this step. So it wants us to insert a empty vertical gallery. And as you can see, because we initialized and restarted the application, it already pops up right here, our mole table, and we are going to connect that one. And the next thing that it wants us to change right here is the rep count. And this is all about the number of rows for our moles. So it wants us to create a rep count of three. So then it's going to have nine moles in it, which are clickable. So let's head over to step three. And this step is about adding the actual moles that we can whack. I am not really sure if I would call this a mole, but that maybe has to do with my knowledge. Uh, I would say it's a mouse, but uh, I guess AI is always right. So let's call it a mole. It wants us to create a button inside of our gallery. Uh, so let's head over to our app. And we're going to do so by clicking right here and adding a button and then you can see that with the rep count of three it's having nine buttons right here and it wants us to change two things it wants us to change the text and we're just going to paste and then it also wants us to change the on select for the buttons because when you are clicking the right button at the right time you need to be rewarded one point so let's search for on select and we're just going to paste that information there as well. So that's about it for step three. So let's head over back to our ChatGPT manual. And next up, we have the configuration of the timer. I guess, yeah, this is for making sure that the, the moles are randomly visible. They want us to do this after like one second. You have one second to press the mole. If it's going away again, then another mole has to be visible. So let's head over to our application and create a timer. All right, so the button is inside of the gallery. I assume that the timer needs to be outside of the gallery itself. So we're just going to create and insert a timer and we're just going to put it right here for now so it wants us to change some things and the duration is the first one and it wants us to go to 1000 which means one second it wants us to set repeat to true then it wants to disable auto start but i guess that's already false yes that's already false and it wants us to add the code at on timer end so we're going to look for on timer end where are you on timer end you're alive oh there you are Okay, so we're going to paste the code right here. This is basically the code for making sure that the moles are popping out at random times. And it's also keeping track of total time. So I assume that we're going to get a specific time to press as much moles as we can. Back to our manual and take a look at step five. So step five is all about the restart button. So if your score is embarrassingly low, then you can just restart the game and try again. Just as many times as you'd like. So let's head over to our location. This button can also be outside of the gallery. So we're just going to add a button 
we're just going to put it beneath the timer. Maybe we'll do some uh, restyling at the end, but uh, for now we're just going to keep it like this. So we're going to call this button restart, and now we're going to change the on select to the code that is providing inside of our ChatGPT manual. All right, so this is just timer one; it's not uh, timer two. So let's just change that real quickly. So when you're pushing restart, it's going to the time left to 30 seconds, and it's going to reset the score to zero. So every time that you press this button, it's just going to yeah restart everything of the game, and you can just try again. So let's head over back to our manual and take a look at step six. And as you can see, step six is actually the last step before we can start testing our game. And this is the step to create the labels for tracking the score and the time left. So let's create these two labels inside of our application. So it wants us to create two text labels. They can just be outside of the gallery. Let's put one here and let's put the other one right here. One of them is for the score. So this one is just static text to save score. And this is the actual score. And this is probably an accurate prediction of what it's going to be when I try it. And let's add this one. And this will be time and the time left. So this is standard 30. But when we're going to start the game, it's going to count down. There's nine lines, but there's not enough space for them. So we're just going to move this a little bit down so that we have visibility over our moles. And I guess this should be it. Let's check once again in our manual. Click the timer to start the game. Click on the mole to increase the score by one. Click on restart to restart the game. And after 30 seconds, it's going to show time up notification. Okay. Yeah, so I guess this is it. So let's start testing. And let's just give it a try. So we got this. And then we start the timer. It should start the game. Oh, there we go. Time's up. All right. So we got a score of 14. And when we're going to hit restart, it will restart the game. And then when you click on the timer, you can start the game again. All right, it's actually working. And obviously you can just add things like keeping track of a high score, or if you want it to be a little bit more hard and you want to have like 12 moles or 100 moles, you can add that as well. So on the question, is ChatGPT able to create a game and a canvas application? Absolutely, yes. It is able to create a pretty accurate manual to follow to create a game that actually works. But is a canvas application made for creating games? No, absolutely not. It is able to create some simple games, but it is actually just for creating business applications. But it's a fun thing to try out. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned a little bit from this and I hope to see you guys in the next one.